Back speaking with Andrew Tunks from Meteoric Resources this morning. Andrew, morning. Good morning, Andrew. Always a pleasure. Great to see you. You put an update out this morning, Andrew, on the, the scoping study for Caldera uh, with the inclusion here of some additional high-grade resource. Tell us more. So um, we produced the original scoping study back in July, and subsequent to that, we've had some um, one, one very important licence for us called Figuera um, converted into measured and indicated resources. And so what we've done now is not change any parameters in the scoping study, really, in terms of our inputs, mining costs, everything else. We've simply uh, put in, because Figuera is very high grade, and, and that allows us to bring higher grades up earlier in the mine plan, which is all, always a good thing. And, and then across the three licences that are current, and three licences out of 69 licences that are currently considered, we, um, we're only now in our mine plan looking at measured and indicated resources. So no inferred in the whole plan now. Previously, there was inferred. Um, so a much higher level of geological com confidence. And then the final thing that has changed slightly is that metal prices have changed significantly in the far past few months. So we've used that to model um, some scenarios. I would also say, though, um, what we did previously was we used forecast pricing from one of the rare earth groups, Adamus, but we discounted that significantly by 40%. What we are trying to show is, is a very uh, clear picture of, of where we sit in the, in, you know, in the world of rare earths, uh, which we believe you know, will be a very significant player and, and a very low cost player. And having these additional high grade resources, what will that mean say early on uh, in the production profile for the project. Yeah, so, so Figuera is planned to enter the production profile as the very high-grade Capo de Mel is starting to increase around year four. Um, and so what it does is, is fill in a bit of gap that we had in the original study. So there's there's very high grades at Figuera. They'll be coming in. And, and effectively what that does is across both the five-year plan, which is really the important one um, because that's up front and, and, and pays back all the capital, et cetera, uh, but what that says is more metal produced at lower operating costs. So that so that's a, a fantastic result for us. Um, and as I said, you know, industry leading low cost. So, um, you know, if people go to the release and see there's a lot of figures in there about exactly what price and, ha and how we've calculated those things. But what I think, this is a big picture uh, discussion that we're having here, Andrew. What I'm really saying is more metal, lower cost, no change in capital cost. Everything that we're doing is on track and on time. Um, and we believe that we're going to be the next uh, rare earth mine on the planet. And how are you getting on, Andrew, with some of these other key work programs? Absolutely. So we have, um, we're have we well progressed down our environmental pathways now. We've submitted, we've submitted uh, the entire EIA. And in fact, we have um, some meetings, our first town hall meeting on site in the, in the coming weeks. And I'm, I'm going across to Brazil uh, to be present for that. Um, we've had great buy-in from, from local government, state government and federal government. So that's progressing very well. Um, the, you know, the feasibility study will be out uh, early next year and we'll finalise. We're still on track to finalise everything by the end of next year, um, by the end of 2025, which means effectively in Brazil that, our target is, is a license called permission to construct. And that will give us permission to, to get into construction in 2026, um, build the mine and, and effectively start mining. And again, we, we talk about a mine, but this is much more like a shallow quarry. And it and it's not rock, it's clay. So it, it's a very, very simple procedure. Yeah, great to see you, Andrew. Thanks for your time. Andrew, great to see you again.